everybody. Welcome once more to Two Zeros with Tim. Uh, let's talk about some interval basics today. Uh, for those of you uh, at different stages of development in your play, and let's think about a flat five today. Flat fives are great to have in music. They, they introduce dissonance uh, onto our harmonic palette, but we need that. If we don't have dissonance, music is incredibly boring. Uh, um, so if you've been playing like power chords, like this kind of stuff, that's a good example of a perfect fifth. A perfect fifth is a very tight harmony. The reason we call it a fifth is if you walk up five scale steps, one, two, three, four, five, it gives you a fifth. Those kind of harmonies turn up all over the place. The ear can stand to hear a whole lot of perfect fifths. But somewhere along the way, somebody got cute and wanted to said, what if we overturned that? What if we did something crazy with that? Then you got a flat five. Uh, uh, side one, the uh, first track of the first Black Sabbath album, the whole uh, thing was, was hinged on the use of the tritone or flat five. They went... All right, anyway, so there's a good example of it. You know, uh, if you've got a pentatonic scale that you're working with, if you've been doing this, if you introduce a flat five into there, then you get this. There's that flat five again. One of my favorite uses in an improvised solo of a flat five is this little deal here, which is sort of a horn lick. I think I probably first heard a, a, a Billy Boy Arnold doing it, uh, but I think he was getting it from horns and jazz. Mm -hmm. 